What's up guys? This is a video on the newest version of the Stetsum STX2436 BT Digital Audio Processor DSP. Now I did a video on the previous model and it's pretty similar so if you want a little more in depth check out that video and also I did a video on the Expert Electronics DSP that's in depth so all of them are very similar so if you're looking for more in-depth information check out my other videos this one's going to be kind of quick because it's just the newer version and it's actually very similar so I'm not going to go over the same stuff but I'm just going to show you what's new about this new model STX 2436 BT so first thing you notice is there's an optional wired remote um, so you can change the settings without having to use the app but to me I mean it is a nice feature but it's a little bit cumbersome clicking through the options um, one by one it takes almost like a little bit of a learning curve to get used to what you have to click you know press and hold the dial to go back but it is handy you can change your levels um, so like if you got comfortable with it you could almost use this for a bass knob I guess like if like if you had a sub amp like if you had a tear amps that doesn't have a uh, a bass remote knob but looks pretty nice it comes with adhesive you just stick it somewhere and it actually it's magnetic it just slides in and pops which is nice so you can sit and hold it in your hand put it back on your dash or center console so that's a nice feature the other notable difference on this one is it has a three channel sequencer so what that gives you is three outputs you know 12 volt outputs so I'm not really sure why you'd want it but you can let's say turn one amp on and then turn the next amp on and then turn the third amp on, amp on and you could space them out so they turn on five seconds from each other and I'm sure you could also use these for like LED lights um, so like when you turn on your audio system you can have a set of LEDs come on because it's just a 12 they're just 12 volt you know low power outputs so you can use those that for whatever you like but the, that's the difference too is a three channel sequencer the optional wired remote this does have RCA inputs two channels and then two channels of high level inputs and it's got four outputs um, and then it has an indicator light on the front and the app is updated on this new model it is almost identical as far as features go but it's just got a new layout so on the home screen you kinda have everything laid out a little different so you got your main level right there and then you change like if you want to change the level on channel 3 and then there's the slider channel 1 so it's kinda of like a quick access menu um, shows if your limiters going on or off here's your sequencer settings so let's say you got sequencer 1 you want it to delay 3 seconds and uh, sequencer channel 2 you want it to delay 4 seconds and then on and off pretty basic um, the audio settings again I'm not going to go too in depth it's almost identical to the other app so you got your graphic EQ you can use the sliders or you can input a frequency and you could um, also store these to custom presets crossovers again very nice crossovers they give you high pass low pass and they give you Butterworth, Linkwitz, Riley and in all those they give you 12 decibel 18 and 24 and 36 and then you got your frequency so very powerful crossover section that's one of my favorite features on these um, phase control again check out my expert electronics DSP video for more in-depth on these I'm just running by quick your routing so like if you know channel one 
output if you want both your left and right signals to output or if you want to do it in stereo and have your channel one only output left have your channel two output right etc etc um, it is laid out a little nicer it has a like a test tone generator so you can if you want to play a 40 hertz test tone um, you can go ahead and do that from this app as well it's got a sweep generator so if you want to start at like 10 hertz and go up to 40 check out how your subs doing noise generator the voltmeter on here is nicer it shows you like a live graph of your voltage it's just a little fancier it's kind of a cool feature you can see what's going on with your vehicle voltage um, and that's pretty much it for that like I said this is just a simple show you what the changes and improvements were on this newer model now this by itself runs about 120 bucks and then the SMC controller is about 80 bucks, and I think you can buy the package for 199. I'll put links in the description if you're interested. Um, not a huge improvement over the first version, STX2436, but the addition of the sequencer, the updated app, and the optional remote, you know, they're nice features. Um, is it worth the extra money for me? The old one works fine. I have no issues with it. The app even works good. So it's up to you guys. Like if the wired remote and basically the sequencer is enough, you know, of an upgrade for you to go this route. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll put links below if you're interested. And again, check out my other videos for more in-depth DSP settings on what all these do. Thanks, guys.